When you decide to gift yourself the permission to be authentically you, the version of yourself you were created to be, three things will happen. Welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Kate Flynn and I am the active deconditioner. The first thing that you're going to notice happen is that your physical health is going to improve. It is unbelievable how inefficient your false self is. It is a gas hog. Think 1970s Cadillac. It is consuming so much energy just to keep your stories running, your resentments, your traumas, just to keep all of those balls in the air. It is sucking you dry of your life force. When you decide to live authentically, you start to cut off the power to the false self and you get to reclaim it. You no longer need to eat a very special diet or take a million supplements or need several prescription medications. Maybe even you can avoid surgeries and more in-depth medical care, especially as you age. Wouldn't it be nice to use that energy to fuel a wonderful, happy, exciting, authentic experience rather than to slowly be crushed by the heaviness of the false self? Wouldn't it? Number two, even if giving yourself permission to be authentically you means you blow up your life because let's face it, it's really tricky to exit correctly from situations and relationships and careers and whatever it may be that we entered into incorrectly, that we probably had that gut feeling, that inner voice saying, hey, are we sure about this? Are we sure this is a good idea? Maybe we should wait. And then it's too late because you decided with your thinking thoughts and you entered into things that were not correct for you. Or maybe you entered into something correctly, but then it ran its course and it's complete. And our culture is so attached to things being forever. Make it work, make it last. Maybe it wasn't supposed to. The great thing about blowing your life up is one, if you do it on your terms, it's a lot easier. Two, yes, it will be hard and it will probably suck, but it will suck for a finite, acute amount of time. Maybe it'll be months, maybe it will even be a couple of years, but compare that to the alternative, which means you stay in incorrect situations and you suffer chronically, maybe not to the acute level that you would if you blow it up, but for decades, for the rest of your life. And I know how hard these decisions are to make, trust me, or maybe not to make, but to follow through and take action on because our minds are so good at telling us, don't do that, that's too scary, you should wait, to just make it work, suck it up. When if we can get past the mind and the thinking thoughts and we pull the power back to our bodies, we move forward correctly and magical doors start to open up in our lives. I promise, I promise. Number three, if you gift yourself with permission to be authentically you, you won't have to worry about being on your deathbed and thinking, man, what have I done with my life? What if I would have done all those things I wanted to do rather than stay in situations that I outgrew or that were actually detrimental to my life? You won't be hanging on to this earthly experience with threads of bitterness and resentment and regret and frustration and anger and all of those things. When your time comes, you'll be ready because you lived your life. Here's the catch. This is a gift that only you can give yourself. As well-meaning as your friends and family may be, 95% of the time, they're not gonna tell you, yeah, do what's best for you. Be authentically you. Make your decisions with yourself as the priority. And if they say that, if it doesn't hurt or impact them, they're probably gonna be fine with it. But if they feel like they get slighted in that process, they're going to be like, whoa, 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 let's shut the door on all this authentic behavior and let's go back to the way it was before. No one else can give you this permission. It is up to each of us to give it to ourselves. So whether you are in love with human design and you resonate and respond and you know that that is your path to move forward, or maybe 
you don't resonate with it and you feel like there is something else out there that would be a better fit. I don't care. I'm not attached. Find the thing that is going to allow you to blossom, to shed the false self, to create a really good life. And I will be cheering you on from here. If you do resonate with human design and active deconditioning though, please reach out. The link to schedule is in the description below. I would love to hold this space for you to guide you through your active deconditioning so that you can move into the coming year ready for a clean slate, a fresh start, and with a childlike curiosity to find out who you really are outside of everything else you thought you were supposed to be. I wish you all a very happy holiday season and I will see you soon.